Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monu and in this video I'm going to talk about some statistical data related to PG in various parts of the world. I'm going to cover USMLE, PLAB, India, Germany and other countries. In the other it refers to countries such as Canada, Australia or New Zealand in which it is a little difficult to enter the healthcare system since it requires you to have a clinical experience of 3 to 5 years. So others is about Canada, Australia and New Zealand. Now before we head on to the exact figures here, I would like to tell you that this is from my perspective, my experience and my colleagues experience. I hereby am not responsible for the exact figures. This is just like an estimated data. So let's get back to the main topic here. I have divided the video into uh, several aspects that is cost, which includes the application fee, the travel expenses, but it excludes tuition fees. So this is just the cost of, cost of giving exam. The second one is duration, that is the time that it requires for you to prepare. The third is preclinical and clinical. This is about the importance of these subjects in various different examinations. This one is PG, that is the duration of PG. After you give this exam, how much years it will take for you to be a postgraduate stay now this is the estimated cost for one month one month in each country difficulty level now this is the part which is very personal it all depends upon you which one you find more difficult this is just from my point of view pg fees in different uh, after different examinations pay scale now pay scale depends upon your specialty and subspecialty but here is the estimated value of your first stipend that is the stipend you get during internship or during your first year of residency. So it may vary according to your specialization but this is the average or the minimum pay scale. Let's start with USMLE. The cost of the application fees is $21,000. Now this includes your travel expenses during step 2 CS. Uh, during your uh, step three, that is the exam that you give after you have, after you're done with your residency application, and it includes cost of all three steps, plus USCE. This cost includes the clinical experience amount as well, which is about the half of the whole price. USCE is United States Clinical Experience. I have uh, uploaded a video about that, so you can check that out. Second one is PLAB, the cost of application fees, that is the two PLAB 1 and PLAB 2, exam is $4,500. This also includes your one month travel expenses for step 2, that is PLAB 2. In India, the cost of the exam is $55 only, which is cheapest among all the options here. The exam cost for Germany is about $6,000. It includes the fees for the German language. Now, since you know in Germany, you don't have a medical examination specifically for uh, specifically for the entrance purpose, but it is about the German language, which cost about 4,000 euros and then some extra expenses. So that is in the dollars. Now in uh, PLAB, in UK, the currency is pounds, but I have done this whole estimation in dollars. So you might convert it into the pounds or euros. For other countries such as Canada and Australia, the application fee for the exam is $4,000. For the duration, this is about individual person, but from my point of view, USMLE takes about 2 to 2.3, uh, 2.5 years for the whole preparation. Like from the moment you have filled your first application for step one or step two, whichever you prefer, to your first day of residency. Duration is about 2 to 2.5 years. So this follows the same in PLAB, 1.5 years. For Indian PG, six months to one year to prepare. Germany, two to three years. Why? Why it is more? Because you have to prepare for German language. And there are several levels of the German language test. So it takes a little longer. For others, it's one to two years, same as compared to PLAB and USMLE. For the preclinical subjects, in USMLE, I have rated it out of two. I have given it one. For the PLAB 2, since in the PLAB the main focus is on preclinical subjects. In India, 1, Germany, 0.5 because you got, you need to focus mainly on German language, not on the medical education. For others, same. 
for the clinical one u s m lip the clinical one is the highest that is two plab one india one germany and others point five point five so if you are preparing for u s m lip focus mainly on clinical aspects if you are preparing for plab india and germany or other countries you should focus mainly on pre clinical subjects even though both are very important for the duration of pg again it depends upon your specialization for example neurosurgery in usa takes about 7 years whereas other uh, surgery or other uh, sub specialties or specialties takes less a time so pg in us assembly is anywhere from 3 to 6 years in plab it is divided into three parts like 2 3 and 3 If you have done your internship from India, this two will be one. That is, you have to do one year foundation in PLAB, then three, and then again three. In India, it takes three years for specialization, and another three year for super spe super specialization. In Germany, it takes about three to five point five, depending upon your specialization. Others same three to six years. So the minimum here is three years, and the maximum is about six, but it usually goes up to seven or eight in case of surgery plastic surgery or ortho for the stay this is for the one month stay in us assembly if you stay after your us assembly that is stay in usa cost about 10000 dollars a month plab 8000 dollars in india <laughs> if you are an indian and it's your home country it cost nothing like it cost something but you are with your family and basically the expenses doesn't count In Germany, about five thousand dollars a month. Canada and Australia, same five to ten thousand, depending upon the location and your personal preferences. This stay includes the first, like whenever you go to a new place, you try to settle down there, and the first month usually costs you the maximum amount of money. So that's what I have included in the stay here. For the difficulty level, I have rated it out of five stars. I think your assembly difficulty level is four point five. Plab is three, Indian PG is four or three point five, German is two and others is three. Now you might ask me like, what is the criteria behind this difficulty level? I don't know how to describe this, but for me, I think U S M L deals with more clinical questions, whereas Indian PG that is uh, that is the neat PG and the Plab. focus more on preclinical and less on the clinical aspect so that that that's why i've given less score to plab and indian pg for the pg fees there is no pg fees after you have completed your usmle that is there is no fees during your residency instead they pay you some stipend in the plab many people have asked me like why do you choose us assembly over plab or why do you choose plab over us assembly these are the things that you need to keep in your mind the cost the duration and the pg fees you do not need to pay anything in us assembly as your as your tuition fees but in case of plab after you have done your plab 1 and plab 2 after you're done with those steps you still need to pay a tuition fees to your university that is about 22500 but what i have heard is you get to earn more than you need to pay your savings will be less but you'll be independent you don't need to ask money from your parents to study or to study your post graduation in after you are done with plab in the uk so that is it for the tuition fees in india the tuition fees is about 9600 dollars this is the government tuition fees obviously the private one is a little higher in the germany there is again no tuition fees others cost about 30 to 40000 dollars same as plab or a little higher than that of plab for the pay scale this is the minimum stipend that you get during your residency or your internship for your assembly it is $35000 for plab it is $20000 for india $900 for germany $2800 and others is $25000 So you can tell that the plab and others are equivalent, whereas the USMB has the highest pay scale. So this is it for the video. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. I hope this clears at least the financial part of these exams. Whenever you think about your future, you need to think about 
your financial status, your own knowledge, and a lot more different. And you need to think about a lot more different aspects. So this is it for your assembly plan in India, Germany, and others. I'll make another video in which I'll tell about the topics that are important for each of these exams. Thank you very much. Please watch, share, and subscribe to my channel.